All right, so if you're thinking about moving to Houston and you want to live in an absolutely gorgeous place, then you need to think about Magnolia, Texas. Magnolia, Texas is actually in the backside of the woodlands and extends west from the woodlands all the way to 249. It's a kind of a rural community with all different kinds of housing options and it's absolutely gorgeous out here. You get the nice big trees like you see around me right now. You also get the conveniences of living really close to all the fun things to do in the city. So stay tuned and watch this video because I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Magnolia, Texas. Hi, my name is Philip Himes. I'm a local real estate expert in the Houston area, and I want to welcome you to Life in Houston Now, where we bring you the best communities, hottest neighborhoods, and all the local attractions. We get calls and emails all the time. In fact, that's how it starts. A client calls us, we start the conversation, and that's how it starts. So if you're thinking about moving to Houston, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. We'd love to get the conversation started with you. So right now, let's go take a look at Magnolia, Texas. All right, so Magnolia, Texas is actually located north of Houston, 43 miles up Highway 249, and extends from Highway 249 all the way to the Woodlands, where almost 45 is, and then as far south as Tomball. So it's a massive area, and it's always been the perfect place for those people who wanted the comforts of living in the city, but want the tranquility of living in the country. Magnolia, Texas offers a wide variety of housing options. In fact, you can go from a cattle ranch to a large country estate. And in fact, Magnolia has been known for its country's luxury country estates. Um, there are several properties out there that are several acres, um, five to 7,000 square feet, and are priced in the millions. And there are neighborhoods that actually cater to that kind of a buyer. And those neighborhoods are Lake Windcrest, Bridal Creek, and High Meadow Ranch. Although luxury country estates are always gonna be a characteristic of Magnolia, in recent years, uh, Magnolia has actually attracted a lot more traditional buyers. So there's a lot more neighborhoods out there at every price point. One of those neighborhoods is actually Escondido. It's actually a first time home buyer neighborhood. And an uh, interesting fact about that neighborhood is it used to be Patrick Swayze's horse ranch. So let's go check out Escondido and I'll show you a couple great first time home buyer homes out there that are priced you know, in the mid 300s. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're out here at the David Weekly Model in Escondido. It's a great little community in Northern Magnolia. What I like about this community is it's real affordable, great for first time home buyers, and it has some amenities that are really kind of cool. It has a big, huge reservoir out there that has fish in it. You can go ahead and fish in it. There's also a playground out there, a pavilion, and a fishing pier. So that all comes as part of your package out here. Plus the, the tax rate is really low out here. And what's great, about this model home is it has a big great room. So you have your dining, your kitchen, and your living all in the same room. So it's got that modern floor plan that people are looking for today. Also, um, it has an island kitchen, looks like 36 inch cabinets, stainless steel appliances. Then you have a large dining area and also a great living area. This is a great home. Uh, it's real affordable. That's one thing I really like about this area out here is you can probably get this home the way it is today for about 360, 370 ish. That's really, really good. Also, we're gonna go out and look at a home that is currently ready to move into. All right, we're at a David Weekly home out in Magnolia. This is a beautiful home. You come in, you see this study right here, just down the hall, you're gonna see a nice great room with an island kitchen, stainless steel appliances, nice 36 inch cabinets, great lighting in the whole room. You got a large living area. Then you have a pretty good size master bedroom, great sleeping area, plenty of room, and it goes right into a, a double sink bathroom with a walk-in shower and a walk-in closet. So lots of space there. And then we walk upstairs, you get to the, the game room. There's three bedrooms up here, and they're all about the same size, you know, 10 by 14-ish, nice closets. There's a second bedroom right now same thing then you got your jack and jill bathroom right here which is kind of cool kind of go from one room to the next this is the third bedroom it's a little smaller than the other two but pretty good size and then back to the game room all right so we're talking about escondido this is the house i was telling you about earlier when i was in the model home this home here is priced at three hundred forty nine thousand nine hundred ninety dollars very affordable great for first-time home buyers um, it, it's just a good deal. Plus, if you use their lender, they'll pay 3% of your closing costs or they'll pay up to 3% towards your closing costs. So uh, about nine grand or so. So that's a lot of money that you don't have to come out of pocket. Really, all you gotta do is worry about your down payment, maybe a little bit more and you're into this home. So for a first time home buyer, I think this is a, is a winner. All right, so we're just gonna take a peek at the Perry home to kind of compare it with the David Weekly. 
I'm um, just gonna look at the common areas in the kitchen. But anyways, Perry Homes is actually known to be a luxury builder. And this is kind of like their first entry into um, a first time home buyer. And as you can see, the flooring, is, the finishes are gonna be really nice in this home. I love the flooring in this house. Then you have your study, utility room, nice island kitchen with separate cooktop and oven instead of a range. That's kind of an upgrade for first time home buyer kind of scenario. And then you have the living area, dining, blending right into the kitchen. So a big, great room feel. So at the mid 350s, 360s, this is a great deal for a first time home buyer. All right, so you saw two great builders with similar floor plans, similar in price. If you're a first time home buyer, what home would you choose? Leave your answer in the comment. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Okay, so when I move to a new area, I kind of want to know what the people are like. You know, I want to know if I'm going to fit in, if I'm going to find some friends, especially since I'm moving someplace where I already have those friends and I'm kind of worried I, I won't be able to replace them. And the truth of the matter is I probably can't, but maybe I can find just as good of friends. So I'm always curious about that. So what I did is I decided to go to Tamina's Farmer's Market and talk to the people down there, see what they were selling, and at the same time, get to kind of know the feel for who they are. Are they nice or are they not? So let's go check out Tamina's Market. You're gonna like this part of the video. All right, I'm out here in Tamina Farmer's Market. It's an awesome place. They got probably 40 or 50 vendors out here. Also, if you come out here, uh, and you can get a free cocktail over here. And if you buy anything, they'll refill it for free. So if you like to drink your shopping, you definitely can do that here. One thing, I, I'm not a big drinker, but I love my coffee. And right now we have Galindo's Coffee right now. I'm gonna talk to Zach. We're gonna talk to Zach. He's gonna tell us all about his company. All right, Zach, so tell me about up, your company. Dog? Yeah, so we actually started, funny enough, um, as a barbershop. And so we have a couple of local barbershops here in the area. And we ended up finding out that a lot of our clients share the same love of coffee with us as well. And so um, we ended up, th things just lined up. We ended up getting uh, uh, some additional room in our barbershop, ended up taking it over and ended up opening up a coffee shop. And it's been working great. I guess what makes us different, um, we use single origin uh, beans. So we have espresso beans, we have um, Colombian is what we use mostly. We do have Ethiopian and we do have a Guatemalan and a couple of different seasonal ones, but we try to source only single origin. We get it lo uh, locally roasted uh, here in Houston. Honestly, really the difference comes in just caring. Like we have a passion for this and we wanna make sure that every cup that we make is, is something that we would give our grandma or our mother. And this is, uh, this is uh, our other Hi, barista yeah. right here, Julie. Hello. Um, and so together we've been rocking the farmer's market. Um, so if y'all are around, come on out. The Tamina Farmer's Market brings out a ton of people, a lot of local, uh, very unique, different vendors over here. And um, Julie, so tell us what you do helping yeah, you. Yeah, so I started off here as a receptionist. So I still do kind of receptionist at, for at the, the barbershop. barbershop. Um, and then we started doing kind of the barista thing and so you know they trained me there I'd never been a barista before anywhere else so I was lucky enough to be able to be trained here so I just feel like it's been a really great opportunity to kind of meet new people get out into the community and so do you guys do you have a you also have uh, barber shops and they have the barista inside it is that how it works no, so we have uh, the coffee shop is next to one of our barbershop locations mm -hmm. okay. and the way that it's set up is from the lobby of the barbershop you can walk into the coffee shop cool, cool. and then also if you just want coffee you can walk in it's got its own separate entrance as well it works out it works out really well and, and at the end of the day really on both sides we're big on building community and we really love doing this because we get to get out of the community and meet faces that maybe we wouldn't meet otherwise yeah. all right guys so that is Zach and Julie they're awesome out here Do, make sure you share this video with all your friends so you can get and uh, help Zach out and build this business you know we always want to help those locals really dominate the market if they can and these guys are two great guys to make sure that uh, they make sure they do well. So share this video, get it out to all your friends, and then go get a haircut. What's is it the same name? Galindo's Barbershop. Galindo's Barbershop, and get a coffee while you're there. You're gonna have a great time. Yes. So I'm gonna go over here and talk to Kaylee. She's over here. Kaylee, tell us about what you do here. So I'm a graphic designer. So everything you see here is designed and crafted by me. Um, my products place an emphasis on health and self empowerment, and so that's pretty much what my what I strive to do. I strive to spread positivity, really. So hey, let's go to the next one. We're gonna go check out what a side of beef costs from uh, Julie. She's awesome. So let's go check her out. This is Julie. Say hi, Julie. Hello. So Julie, kind of tell me about what you. Uh, what you got going out here? Yeah, so we are a small farm based in Sealy, Texas. We raise 
pork, chicken. Uh, we partner with other local ranches for beef and we also offer lamb as well that comes from our farm. So um, all of the animals are raised out on pasture. Um, so they have all the grass and sunshine they can handle. And then we also feed a, a non-GMO feed. So everything that you could possibly want. But uh, Julie's got all this great stuff. Let me show you some of the pictures she's got going on here. So that is probably one of the best ribeye you'll ever see. Um, tell us about this right here, because this is not a very common cut. Yeah, that's the osubuku. Um, it comes from the beef shank, so it's a cross cut of that, that beef shank. And this would be for like a stew or something like that? Yeah, it's really good to stew. You can see that the bone still has the marrow in it, uh -huh. and so that cooks out and gives a, th a thickness to the stew, and all of the uh, collagen in that shank breaks down and gives you a really rich stew. Looks like a really fresh chicken. I think we're going to get some of that. Awesome. All right, so Julie, she's our Julie. Yes. Julie, is, I got a Julie over here. We're going to go see in a second. <laughs> but uh, Julie has got some great stuff out here. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to put my her information in my uh, description. So she comes out to the farmer's market. You can come here to Tamina Farmer's Market and see her. But you're all over, right? You don't just come here, right? Yeah, we also go to a farmer's market in Katy called the Farmer's Market on Grand Park Way. All right. So if you're in Katy, go see her out there. If you're out here in Magnolia, you just definitely want to see her here. So let's go talk uh, to Julia and get... These are the these are the things that are gonna make you fat, but they're beautiful. They're they're fantastic. <laughs> Keto is killing me right now because I just want to bite into the one that's so bad. But uh, let's talk to Julia. Okay. So hey, me, Julie, tell us about what you got here. Let me start off with focaccia bread. This is like a traditional Italian bread made with organic flour, extra virgin olive oil, salt, and oregano on top. I have crostata. This is what we're really known for in different farmers markets. So the crust, it's like a butter cookie with lemon zest in it, and it has less sugar than a typical American dessert. I, it's, um, we have usually we have it with like a bunch of different uh, preserves, and the ones that I have left are apricot and peach, and I also have some croissants over here, and they were fresh, uh, made this morning, and they're filled with different things. She's a little shy, but I tell you what, when I came out here the first time, she spit that stuff out like a pro. Thanks a lot. And um, so if they want to come out here, you guys come out here pretty much every every yes. weekend, right? Yes. All right, so actually, I got actually Gus. Um, these are healthy. I love Gus. You guys know I love Gus. But these are healthy treats for him to help train him. You know, Gus, you know, I love you, buddy. So we're going to bring these home to you. Okay, next up is Audubon. It's a new master plan community off of Highway uh, 249, just north of Old Magnolia. And it's really growing like gangbusters out there. And I have a theory about this area that I think is gonna be important for you to know, if you're, especially if you're thinking about buying out in the Magnolia area. So stay to the end, I'll share that theory with you and maybe, maybe it can help you increase your family as well. But for now, let's go check out Audubon and see how great and wonderful this new neighborhood's gonna be. All right, so we're out at Audubon, and what this is, this is a new premier neighborhood. It's just getting started. The best time to buy a home is when they first start or when they're closing out. So right now is a great time to get a home out here in Audubon. And what I like about Audubon is it basically it encapsulates living in nature. So as you can see behind me, you have all those old growth woods uh, that are still staying there, and they're just going to build the neighborhood and use that to accent the lifestyle that you're going to have so let's go take a look at Audubon. All right, so we're out at Audubon today. I want to tell you a little bit about this neighborhood. So it's just getting started. There's only a few hundred homes out here. And usually when a neighborhood is just getting started, it's a great time to get out there and take advantage of those initial low prices. And you'll see most of the appreciation because those prices will start going up every six months to a year um, as they build out. But this is going to be a real big neighborhood. It's going to be similar to some of the neighborhoods that we've featured like Town Lake out in Cypress, Texas. This is going to be very similar to that. They're going to have the same town square kind of shopping and walk. It's, kind of, it's a walkable shopping experience. So you just kind of park and walk around, you have lunch, you go check out the green space where the kids can play, you do some shopping and maybe you have some drinks in the evening before you head back home. So it's an all-in-one kind of shopping experience and entertainment experience. So that's gonna be here, it's called, it's a, the town center that they're gonna build here. They're also gonna have another, um, they're gonna have their own elementary school here in the community itself. So that would be really great when dropping off the kids or having them walk to school. They can probably walk pretty easily. Initially, there's gonna be um, a few builders in here. There's Perry Homes in here, there's Trees Homes, Empire Homes, Anglia Homes, Devon Street Homes and Newmark Homes is coming in also and Settler Homes I think is coming in next year. So 
there's going to be a bunch of new builders out here with different kinds of products. Now the products usually start around 350 to high 300s and kind of go all the way up to very close to a million dollars out here. So there's a price point for everybody out here and you get a lot for your money out here. You're going to have all those great amenities, the walking trails and all that stuff. But what I really like the most about Audubon is you literally are living within the forest. It's like they really embrace being one with nature, harmony with nature. So it's gonna feel a lot different than just about anywhere else in um, Houston. So definitely wanna come out here and check out Audubon. All right, so let me tell you about this model. So right now, let's start in the kitchen. You know, starting to see a nice beam coming over the ceiling there, nice rustic accent. You got the can lights coming in and you get that pitch ceiling, which kind of gives it a big majestic feeling. As we come down to the cabinets, you can see that we actually have the display cabinets on top. And then below, you actually have um, regular 42 inch uh, cabinets. You've got a nice herringbone backsplash, dark lower cabinets with that a light countertop on top, which is really, really get great accent. And then you actually have some great pendant lights. You got stainless steel appliances and everything. And then as you, as you keep moving down, you have your dining area and then goes right into the living area. So this is one large open space that you can use. And then you also have Right over here, you have a game room, which is nicely set up with big picture windows, seal the high ceilings and great fixtures. So that's kind of the entertainment area, but it even gets better because this has these giant slagging glass doors. This is normally closed, but I've opened it up so you can see that you can actually entertain in both these areas. Let's go check out the, the primary bedroom. And the primary bedroom is a nice size. It's got, again, those big windows. It also has that beam that really puts that rustic accent in there. But what I'm amazed is when we turn the corner here, you're gonna see this. You're immediately greeted with this beautiful Chinese or Japanese soaking tub. It's actually got a dual entry um, shower. So you go on either side and then right behind that entry, you have his closet and on their side, her closet. She has a makeup vanity right over there. And then you have your individual vanities for each uh, member of the household in this for this bedroom. So it's a great bath. This is just phenomenal. This is a great design. I really like it a lot. If you come over here, the, normally the garage will be right over here to our right. This will actually be the garage right down here. It's actually the offices for the reps right now. But as we go in here, this is actually a full suite that you can use. I'd like to take care of your parents. So you have a, an aging parent that needs a little help or Maybe you have an adult family member that's married or one of your children are married and maybe they just graduated college and they just need a little time to get on their feet. This is a great house for that. So I hope you like Perry Homes. I do want to tell you one thing. I got a little, I told you, I was going to tell you a little secret. So let me tell you what the secret is. All right, so I'm about ready to tell you my secret, but before I do, I want you to do something me a favor. You know, we're really trying to build the channel. So if you could subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all of our new videos, that would be a big help and because um, we're trying to grow this channel and we just need all the support we can. But let me give you some insight to what I think is gonna happen out in Magnolia. So if you look at Magnolia right now, a lot there was a lot of construction outside the woodlands and the reason why is because the woodlands offer so many amenities, right? And people could live out in Magnolia for much cheaper than they could in the woodlands. So there's a lot of new construction out there and those are great places to live, such as I think Jacob's Forest is out there, which is a really nice area. Um, on North Grove. So there's lots of great places out there, but I really think the center of the world for Magnolia is gonna actually be in Magnolia, the city of Magnolia, where Autobahn is. The reason why is because they're building that town square and where we've seen those town squares go, such as Sugarland Town Square, the KD1 in La Sentera, uh, the one in, um, even here in the Bay Area at the mall, it's become that the, the hub of commerce, and then eventually the hub of residential homes. And that's where you've seen a lot of the appreciation of homes. So I think Autobahn is gonna be that hub for Magnolia, and that's gonna kinda, you're seeing a city rise from the ashes, if you will. You're seeing it grow right now. You're seeing new HEBs out there, all kinds of stuff. So if you're gonna make an investment in there, you're gonna be there for you know at least five, 10 years, I think you're gonna see a great rate of return on that investment. Plus you're gonna live in a wonderful place, so how, how can you beat that? So. Yeah, that's me saying goodbye. You take care and have a good one.